In this video, we are going to try to prove that medians of a triangle are concurrent. And medians of a triangle, let's begin with thinking about what they are to begin with. Medians are, are the line segments starting at one vertex of a triangle drawn to the midpoint of the opposite side. So this is going to be a median. And this thing, if I can draw it right, is going to be median. So it's bisecting the segment. It's it's splitting the segment into two equal length. And let's try to draw another median. And it looks like this. And as we can tell, they seem to intersect at the same point. All three lines seem to be concurrent. And concurrent means that they intersect at the same point. Concurrent. And you may say, um, are they really intersecting? And if they are, is it the case for every single triangle? And it turns out, yes, yes. It doesn't matter which triangle you draw, all three medians are going to meet at the same point no matter what. And you may say, why? When you draw lines, let's draw three lines, one, two, three. Do they intersect at the same point? Are they concurrent? No, in this case, they are not intersecting at the same point. In some special cases, you can draw a random lines that intersect at the same point. But uh, it, it, for a triangle, does it have to happen? And in this video, we are going to prove it. And how I'm going to prove it is by using Siva's theorem. And it's okay if you don't know what Siva's theorem is. I've made a video introducing you to Siva's theorem. And you may see some I popping up right around here. You can click on it to go to the video where I introduce uh, Siva's theorem to you. And let's, let's say you came back or you already knew Siva's theorem to begin with. So let's apply it right away. And the reason I'm using Siva's theorem instead of doing some analytic geometry, I guess we can set up the triangle to be something like this. Then we can find equation of our three lines and show that they intersect at the same point. But this is very messy. It has so many equations. It has so many expressions that you have to factor, you have to simplify, you have to deal with. And it's, it's just not a beautiful way of doing it. But using Siva's theorem, it's instantaneous. So let's use Siva's theorem. So we draw three medians of a triangle. One, two, three. And you know this side, you know this length and this length are the same. So let's give it a name. Let's say that's x. So these two are x. And you know this length and this length are the same. So let's call them y. And you know these two lengths are the same by definition of median. So let's, let's label them z. And Siva's theorem, you're going to pick a point to, st to start with, and you're going to go around in certain direction and uh, multiply some ratios. You're going to start with y. You're going to divide it by y. So we, were, we went around this length. Now let's go around this length. You're going to start with x, divide that by x. Now let's go around here. You're going to start with z, divide that by z. And if this thing turns out to be 1, you know all of the segments, all of the medians are concurrent by Siva's theorem. And is it is it 1? Do they come out to be 1? Yes, they do. y and y cancel out, x and x cancel out, z and z cancel out. None of them are 0. So we have 1 when you multiply this constraint in Siva's theorem. So yes, medians of a triangle are concurrent.